I asked you a question um, if all music can be turned into dance. And um, you have said that you, you hesitate to use Bach, Mozart, and Beethoven because it's too majestic. What do you mean exactly? Uh, I guess not all of it is too majestic, but it's, you know, um, as beautiful as it is, and it's as serious as it is as an art form, I think it's still just dancing. The ballet is just dancing. So uh, we can't compete with literature, with philosophy. Really? I don't think we can, no. I think dance originally comes from very simple emotions. Like you're having a party, you drink, you have a good time, you have your friends around. You dance. And you start dancing. And it's, it comes very naturally. It's, it's where the dance comes from. That's the origin, origins of it, I think. Well, there are some, in, uh, in ancient cultures, there are some ritual dances where you try to connect to the, the presence of uh, um, a god or the, the, the universal laws or something. But still, I think when we do ballet, sometimes trying to say things that are not organic for ballet, too complicated things. Well, in that sense, the music could, it is a bit more abstract and a bit more uh, universal language, I think. And yet, it does, make, does make sense. It, it makes sense, and, and yet, um, when you say it's just dance, and you say, maybe not that serious, and we might get to this a bit later, a lot of the work you have done has been based on very serious music. Right, and sometimes serious themes. But right. I was experimenting, and by doing those things, I learned that not everything could be done. 